Hey guys, I'm back at it again. Today, I'm working on, well I call it a spring house, but really, it's going to house my little cistern, which is going to be made out of an IBC tote. I sketched out a little drawing for a crude little building. It's going to be anchored by a 4x4 four four on each corner. I'm using pressure treated plywood because I'll have direct contact with the ground and pressure treated two bys. This ends up being cheaper than trying to pour concrete. The leaves are turning colors real nice. We pulled the sailboat out from the marina. And down here is where I'm going to have my little cistern set up. The spring we tap flows downhill through a one inch pipe. Gonna go through a small filter and a float valve to my IBC tote. Well, this tote will be my water reservoir. Here's my lines coming in. This is the spring coming in, electricity, and that's the line to go up the hill. So in this little notch we've carved out, I'm gonna fit in a little house. The little building will protect it from freezing and sunlight. We don't want sunlight in there helping any algae to grow. I'm just making a real basic 6x6 six six frame. Something any high schooler could do. 16 on center. I notched out those 4x4s four to tie in the corners. And then I'm going to overlay it with half inch pressure treated plywood. Away. All right. That was my cupcake delivery girl. <laughs> it's important to have a cupcake delivery girl when you're on the job site because you could grow faint from lack of cupcakes. Hmm. I'm at a stopping point. What I'm doing is prefabbing this up here on the hill where I have electricity and tools. This is what she looks like for right now. It's just reinforced enough to hold the dirt back. Now I'm going to pick it up with the tractor and try to carry it downhill. Well, we finally got the spring house in place, as you can see behind me. Had a little struggle with the mud. Got the tractor a little stuck for a few minutes. But we got her out. So the next step is to get the IBC tote behind me in there. And I've got some valves to install and some plumbing and some electrical work. We had a few days of lots of rain, high winds. Lots of wet leaves falling down since I recorded last. I did manage in between raindrops to get the roof on here. And what I did is I picked up some salvaged steel roofing and it just fit nice. I had some leftover foam underlayment here and we placed that underneath to prevent condensation. So here's my IBC tote water storage container. And what I did for the pickup side of the pump is I drilled the hole through the cover. We ran three quarter inch PVC up to the pump. There was a foot valve down in the water. On the output side, I've got a one way valve here that prevents backflow and that feeds up the hill to the bungalow. And now here in the back, this is where the spring comes in to the spring house. Shut off valve and a really nifty sediment filter with a fine screen and it can be back flushed through that lower valve found that at home depot that feeds in here to a brass float valve kind of like what you had in an old toilet so as we use water the float drops 
and allows more into the tank. I did some wiring. I've got number 10 gauge wire coming in here to feed this outlet. And then I plan on an additional line for a light switch for a light and a work outlet. We've had a run of bad weather here for the past week and week and a half. Cold and miserable. There's actually snow on top of the mountains up there. Today I'm working on the footings on the house. I decided to jack the house up, rearrange the blocks a little bit, give me a couple extra inches of height because I want to put this deck out front. See how the land slopes uphill? I need the extra height and I've had a few comments that gave me pause about the orientation of my blocks. This bungalow was my own design. I spent a fair amount of time on paper. I even did a test model once upon a time to test it for strength against snow loads. And I had hoped that the way I tied the walls in and the interior walls would make it a strong, rigid structure. And jacking it up is really the only way to prove it. And so far, it looks terrific. Well, I got her done. <laughs> The house is two inches higher and level again. And I rearranged all my cinder blocks the correct way. And I put a solid two inch uh, block on the bottom so they wouldn't sink in any farther. Well, the neighbor dogs are back. This is a new one. This is Chance. He's a baby. While my wife keeps the dogs from pestering me, I'm working on the bungalow back here. Look at this. Carrie and I pulled off one of the roof panels. Now that I have all the footings redone, just the way I want them, I'm installing a skirt because it's getting cold. Pipes can freeze. I already started on this side over here. Got everything back together. The only thing that went wrong was I got dog tracks across the side of the house. Once I get this stage done and the skirt's finished, I can work on that little front porch I've been wanting to do. Oh, check it out. We got something new going on here. We got ourselves a washer and dryer. Hallelujah! Woohoo! Did a little plumbing. Ran me a drain pipe for the gray water. Stubbed out a place for a slot sink. We picked up a washer and dryer from a used appliance store. I think it was $389. I ran a line up cold water with PEX under that shelf that came in the storage building. And I have a single cold water line for now, but I'll get one of those under the counter hot water heaters. So we'll have warm water in here. You don't realize what a blessing a washing machine is to you have not had one for a year. We're really thankful. Today I'm outside working on my little front porch I've been dreaming about for a while, putting it together. The skirt's all done. We're getting buttoned up for winter. I got the frame built, and I'm just leveling things out now. We're just a hair high up front. My plan all along was to just let the front edge here sit on the ground. It's pressure treated. It'll be all right. But what I've got to do is take a little bit of the soil out. Let me show you something. Go in the house when no one's looking and you find your wife's flower and you put it in a bowl so you don't get your dirty paws in her flower. Three quarters of a cup should be plenty for what this project. Now we're going to go along. We're going to throw the flower down here at the deck. 
And that gives you a nice line to work with. And it's biodegradable. The rain will just wash it away. Well, I ran out of time for today. I did get all the deck boards on. Boy, I just love how the bungalow looks in the evening as the light highlights the beautiful curves of the Gothic arch. I hear some singing inside the bungalow. It's snowing out tonight, our first or our second snow this year.
Here's my deck in the daytime. I had wanted it nice and low so it was like an extension of the yard, kinda. Came out pretty good. Uh-oh, starting to get cold. Woo, burr. So I'm down here at the spring house, which I finally got all done. I still need to add some trim to make this thing look a little prettier. It looks like kind of an oversized outhouse or something. You can hear the pump running. So everything is safe and sound and ready for winter. It's been a year now since we sold the big house on 50 acres up north. We bought this little 14 and a half acre place down here in Tennessee. Put in a driveway, that took a little while. We've tapped a spring running down the cistern. We have electricity, heat, a nice little working bungalow to live in. We're all ready for winter. And I'm thrilled to be able to finally sit down and not have to worry about this long list I've had. And maybe I can finally think about getting a couple of fiddles done. Here comes my buddies. See you on the next video.